man's drip power. Um. Like, I can't, I, I don't know. You got Unk in the back, like, yo. Um, then Unk got the head like the proud, them little, like, peanut dudes from the proud family. That's what he got a head like. The final countdown. <laughs> 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 what's good y'all welcome to the channel it is your boy reggie wolf and happy new year y'all this is the first video of 2023 i'm happy that y'all came to the new year with your boy part of the mugen empire now we gonna get things kicked off with ola wulo yesterday he uploaded the most slept on black anime in 10 minutes and it had Afro Samurai on the thumbnail. So I, I think this is going to be a banger. Now, if y'all enjoy it, bro, go over to Ola Wulo, hit him with the good. And that's like, comment, subscribe, share, lock it in by hitting the bell, hit him with it. And look, if y'all happy to be in the new year with me like I am with y'all, bro, or if y'all enjoy my reaction, any of that, just good vibes. Y'all can, you know, hit me with the goodness as well, bro. I can take it. Now, with that being said, let's get into it. Wait, right, first off, all the red stuff is cranberry juice, not blood. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You got to do it for YouTube nowadays, bro. They will hit you with an age restriction or limited ads, all kinds of stuff. This is a story about a nappy headed head. But this wasn't <laughs> no ordinary nappy headed head. Ooh. He was the number one nappy headed head. The best of the best. He had the, the best one naps. headband, which basically meant he was that guy. That nigga. This morning, however, an ugly nigga was here. To take that H N I C head <laughs> nigga no, in charge. Do not voice anymore. They immediately start fighting. Dude brought a knife to a gunfight. He's about to get munched. Bro, that's not, that's not a that's knife. That's a sword. He would throw his sword and the little niggas in the back like, shit. If this man kills my dad, I'm gonna be a nappy headed nigga on the street. It's You're gonna be a nappy headed orphan on the street. You have no parents, my my child. It's all good though, cause that nigga was indeed cooking. He's slicing these bullets with his sword. He tried to pop one in his head, but he's blocking all this. Shit. Like he got a lightsaber. Trump, Trump, Trump. Dude, even is he making the sound effects? Okay. That's, why are you fucking with his drip? You fucking with his drip? He's gonna fuck with your Zaza. This shit look beautiful as fuck. Look at the cinematics, the, the cinematography. Dude right. really blocked the master sword. The art style for this whole blocks. anime is crazy. Afro's not holding that. He whips the other one away, and now he's about to chop this man in half. Got Wait, him. Why is this nigga smiling? No, what? He chopped this man's head off with a blicky. He murked that nigga and hit a Fortnite emo. He is him. Yo, what kind of gun demon art is that, bro? Ain't no, ain't no way you gonna be able to cut somebody's head off. Like, understand, bro? That's gun breathing. If anything, imagine him in Demon Slayer. He could do it. He could. He could at least take out like a lower uh, moon. Little niggas like, oh shit, man. So then Mr. Cowboy over here fucking takes the headband off his head and just disrespectfully tosses bruh. this nigga's head towards his child. Little dude is literally traumatized that's crying my daddy, and he just bruh. starts smoking his dad's pack. He's like, damn, man, that's really tough, man. That's sad. I remember this. <laughs> Wouldn't let that shit happen to me, though. This is the story <laughs> of how he got his dick <laughs> This is Afro Samurai. Samurai. Now, y'all, yeah. I'm telling y'all, this show is exactly what would happen if you got a bunch of niggas in a room and told them to make an anime, bro. They had dudes True. from the Wu-Tang Clan, RZA. I don't know yep. how to pronounce that nigga's name. Lucy Liu, part-time actor, yeah, full-time daddy. And she's a MILF. Literally Luke Skywalker. And just to top it off, they just slapped that nigga Samuel L. Jackson in there, too. Like, what? So he's right with like Samuel's character was amazing, but he he kind of carried he carried the dialogue of the show, but at the same time he was not truly necessary to get the like revenge going. Why does nobody talk about this show, bro? Let me. Oh no, it's goaded. What the you mean? The star whose dad got murked is now the number two headband holder, yeah. which means a bunch of niggas trying to jump him. So this he got the same like, drip of his this dad, is the end bro. Of the line for you. Yo, ugly ass nigga. Now you can give us the headband the easy way, or we can just take it from you. But this man, uh, uh, he, nah, bro, nah, bro. I don't kill the booty warrior, bro. He said the same words, but now y'all choosing to do it the hard way. Afro does not give a fuck what this nigga's saying. He's smoking his zaza, his pack, his ooh la la. He squares ooh -la -la. up and he's <laughs> sprinting at him. Dude in the back pops a shot at him, but ooh. this dude just turns on his observation hacky and slices the bullet. And the eight niggas behind him. It's just like that one That's Caleb crazy. City video, bro. Why do these niggas keep trying to fight? He chopped his arms yeah. off while he was still holding his katana. Absolutely mushed up these three youths. Then weave three spears with his- <laughs> I like that he made a Caleb City reference and then used his sound. Also, 
the, both both videos make a good point. Like I'm I'm not the front dude. I'm not gonna be the first one to run in. I'm probably not gonna be the tenth one to run in. I'm gonna be about number thirty, right? And after I see twenty nine other people dead, I'm gone. I'm just walking away. I'm look, hey, bro. Let me. You got another blunt? I I smoke and leave, bro. You ain't got one. Okay, look, look, look. look I, we ain't got no smoke, bro. Look, just like I ain't got a blunt, we ain't got no smoke. This afro, he must have found the can too, cause that would not have gone through his hair like that. Yeah. The stuff this guy's doing to these people, bro, is messed up. Oof. I can't even show this on YouTube. This is nope. this gotta be on Pornhub or something, cause he's what? absolutely yeah. fucking these guys. This In the distance, some up with a massive cranium is just observing this man's drip. He's trying to steal Super it, but we're we'll gonna get to that again later on. He just hit a Tokyo Katana massacre, told this man it was nothing personal, and then walked off. What is this man's drip power level? Like, I can't, I, I don't know. It's Go over nine million. Man, like, Damn, that nigga saucy. Hold on, bro. Nah. Unk. Man's drip power. Unk. Like, I can't. I, I don't know. Got Unk in the back, like. Damn, Yo. Damn, that Unk got the head like the proud, them little, like, peanut dudes from the proud family. That's what he got a head like, bro. Imagine one of them get. Wait, wasn't there an old one? I swear, I, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Saucy. I got a call HQ about this guy. All right, so fast for a little bit. This guy with a crossbow and grenades is out here trying to get smoke with Afro. Samuel that L. Is a creative combo. I'm going to let him speak for himself because I know y'all don't believe me. I told y'all he was in the show. I told you. <laughs> he these arrows at him like it's going to do something to the man who just sliced three bullets into 16 quarters. Hey, y'all better watch out for my man Samuel L. Jackson, bro. I'm going to be pissed. Afro starts running at him. He low-key shit in his pants, so he switches to his secondary fire, starts popping straight-up grenades at this man. He turned a samurai battle into a straight-up Call of Duty Modern Warfare mod. This man starts shooting bro. arrows at Afro, thinking he can't weave him mid-air, and he just pokes the nigga straight through his forehead. Mm. This is random as hell, but they cut to the cult of unks with obnoxious-looking foreheads. And yeah. Gramps is just with the house they're basically just a collective of old okay niggas. i ain't no unk guy bitches like that okay. on afro and praying on his downfall anyways back to these two they start walking off smoking that strong but shit, i think they laced him bro so then this nigga jumps out taking an opportunity he looks like he bought a square up with a bamboo stick but nah nigga, he pulls out a whole ass rpg <laughs> what do they all got like bro i ain't gonna lie i've been playing modern warfare too bro He's that guy in the lobby. You'll see him jump over like some random stuff with the RPG ready. And honestly, that person doesn't care if they die by the, their RPG. They just want to kill you with it. I hate them. Military grade weapons, bro. Isn't this supposed to be Afro Samurai? Samurai right, like, right. This man Samuel L. Jackson is killing me, bro. Listen to this. Copyright, sorry, y'all. He's Loki looking grits for it's Afro. Right, bro. But nah, he turns around and slices it in half. There's no way that shit works like that. It didn't even matter, though. The whole mountain it exploded. Might. and. It if it wasn't, what was it? It ain't supposed to like travel like 15 feet first. I, I'm pretty sure that was over 15 feet. Shut up, right? Die. That's the end of the whole show. GG. What a crazy one episode anime, man. I, uh, I wish it was more. Psych! This I'm about to say that was episode one. Found her an afro and saved his life. She spent the entire episode rizzing him up, even walked in on her butt booty naked like it was some type of Ichi anime. Damn. Right? I know just hearing that, some of you hornies are going to go watch the whole show now. Anyways, later that night, they watching the fireworks, yada, yada, yada. They start fucking. Turns out she was working for the unks, and she tried to set him up. All these cyborgs just start nigga, jumping bro. at the walls. They boxing. Apparently, he was too sexy, so she ah. fell in love with him. So she tries to save him. But no. why you got to kill the baddie? See, that's what happens when you give a girl a good D, bro. She will trade on her own team, bro, for the D. She was crazy over D. She died for the D. Come on, Gramps. Like, just like, why? Anyway, so RPG dude turned into flamethrower dude, and he gives this nigga Afro the most badass walkout scene ever. Problem is, they actually stole his drip data, so now they're going to use that shit for evil and nefarious purposes. The old oh, heads yeah. get to cooking, and they committed a whole new level of dick riding. They rebuilt this nigga and stole his whole flow. They send the new Afro droids. Don't y'all remember this same like thing happening in uh, Samurai Jack though? Six thousand to go squabble with the man on a bridge, and uh, these these two not these two not fighting. <laughs> Forget that though. It's time to get serious, okay? They clashing swords and Afro Loki losing. I swear, every enemy got that one fight where they literally fighting themselves. Even Naruto did it. it no, Naruto did it twice. One in the canon story, this one, 
And then we can't forget Naruto versus Minma. Hits every time though, no cap. Anyway, so Afro starts meditating and shit. Robot runs at him and he we just weaves it. Oh no, nah, this nigga turned on a Sharingan. Yeah. He cannot Ultra touch this Instinct, man, no and Sharingan. And backflip and cut this man. I guess Robot down the straight middle, bro. The old heads are perplexed, bro. Look at their faces. That guy just He can even beat Next himself. Next up, Afro finally gets to confront the RPG nigga. This battle didn't even take five seconds, bro. He literally jumped into the sky, came back down and just cut this nigga in half. That wasn't even the real battle though. His two brothers jump out of the fucking backpack and they start chasing Afro around the room like they're trying to play freeze tag while the <laughs> RPG dude keeps the sword away from him. They really thought Afro couldn't murk them both without a sword. Right. That's ridiculous. He just slowly shish kebabs these two. Like, what the fuck? Embarrassing. Uh. So Afro's now about to leave, but then the android pops out like the Terminator. He's like, I, I am back. Head ass. How the robot get fucked up and then get new powers? Like, why is it shooting rocket hands at him? Where is the samurai part of the show? This cause, cause, cause the robot said, fuck the rules at that point. I, look, I lost once. That's look. That's like if you get into a fist fight or you playing uh basketball with, with you know you're in the wrong neighborhood and you win by a lot or you knock them out. If they go to the trunk, they say f the rules. They about to win one way or another. That's what this robot is doing. This thing has a whole jetpack now. Okay, they clashing again. Afro's still kicking its ass, and this thing literally pops out with a laser beam. What? And so, yo, he, I wonder what he, kind he of is gonna bro. pop out of this robot next, bro. Oh, there you go. It's a machine gun in his mouth. Man, Afro killed this nigga, bro. Yo, this thing is flying him into outer space. What, what is going on anymore? Now this is so hard though. They I, are boxing mid-air samurais. What a yo! I don't remember how he got out of this. I ain't gonna lie. He stabs <laughs> it in the neck and they finally come crashing down. And then the robot self-destructs so those sauce data gets leaked. Anyways, they move on. They get in the elevator, but Unk is back again, and this is determined to get that headband. Afro packs him up, but this man yep. cannot catch a break. It's another nigga waiting to box him right away. And it Oh shit! It's Afro Senju! It's a dude in a teddy bear hat. No, it's Afro what Senju. Is show? <laughs> There's a whole backstory to this dude that I'm not gonna spoil since I know some of y'all finna go watch this show after this. And you better go watch the show after this. This is peak. All you need to know is Afro don't wanna fight this man for real. The Afro yeah. run away like a pussy, yo. Doing Mario hops up these stairs just to get away from him. This Care Bear don't care though. He's still trying to murder him. He drops down, takes off his mask, and it turns out this nigga is Darth Vader. Or just someone else <laughs> whose face got absolutely mushed up. And then he starts sprinting at him. I, I remember the character, like the story behind this character. Character. I ain't gonna spoil it for y'all if yet look go support the official release like team four star say all right And he cuts him but bro. He killed our dog Samuel L. Jackson like I told him I'd be pissed after that Afro couldn't just sit there no more He starts fighting back for real, but this nigga is actually beating the fuck out of him. Jesus Christ Damn. Afro did not work all those innocent people just to get out here and lose right. to a nigga in a teddy bear mask So he gets in the up, finals sprints bro. that dude and just absolutely fan dangles him anyways. It's time it's the well, the semifinals, battle. my the bad. The final countdown. <laughs> you really went all the way. <laughs> Yo, I'm not lame, I swear, please. Anyways, ugly dude is back, and he's like, damn. You really ain't let that shit happen to you. Okay. I see you turn into a mighty killer. You yeah. old nappy headed ass bitch. He wasted no time. Ooh. He pulled out those two blickies and just started popping them out. Yo, he hitting better shots than Snipe hit on Shigaraki, bro. Bow, boom, bow, boom, bow. Alpha been ready for this though. He's been training. Dodged all those bullets like he was in the Matrix. Got up under him and sliced both his arms off. But this thing is weird. He pulls out a third arm. What? what That's how he killed his dad. He had a third arm. The power of the bad is too strong. She broke his sword with a pick. And then Afro just decapitates this nigga, just winning the headband. It's I like over. how you got the Yoshi. What's this guy doing? Bro, what? Are you a vampire? What? what? Dog, I'm at an absolute loss for words. He put our dog on a stick. But don't sleep. Afro's hair is really nappy. He gets back up <laughs> and he cuts this man into 16 million bits. He's finally avenged his father. He finally got his get back. It is the end of Afro Samurai. But if you want to see more Samuel L. Jackson, you have to subscribe to the channel. If I had to give this anime a rating, I'm giving it an 8 out of 10, bro. Make sure y'all go watch That's a fair, it. That's and I'll a fair see y'all next bro. one. Peace. Honestly, for me, Afro Samurai was just too short. Like, it was a great anime. It's like Scribe, uh, Afro Samurai, <sighs> my favorite, who got cut short. They, they, it, it didn't end. It just got cut short, a.k.a. Air Gear. If they all came back, bro, I'd be like a kid in a candy shop, bro. I'd be like, look, 
like a week ago when all the kids opened their Christmas presents, that's me. That if all, some of my favorite animes came back with like a part two after like twenty years, yeah, and Afro Samurai is on that list. Like I understand he needs to get the number one headband, but like what happened after that, bro? Because you know, getting that headband is the curse of like infinite smoke. Every time you get the headband. Somebody coming to run the fade to take it from you, and you gotta be the best of the best for the rest of your life. And like you see, buddy with the guns, he couldn't handle it realistically. He had to become a whole demon out here just to keep up with it. And Afro still was better than him, bro. He the chosen one with the blade. That's why I look. If y'all been seeing an anime house, I'm referencing a lot of people. But you know what? He made a reference, so I'm gonna make a reference. In Anime House, they had Samurai Jack versus Afro Samurai, and I don't know about that. I don't know if Jack can even, like, really stick with him. Like, I'm, it might just be the favoritism in me, but, yeah, I think Afro Samurai take that fight. That's all I'm going to say. But, look, if y'all enjoyed this, bro, go over to Ola Wulo, bro, and hit him with the goodness. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Lock it in by hitting that bell. Hit him with it. And if it's Afro Samurai that, like, he got on the screen at that time, Probably don't want to hit Afro with the goodness, all right? You're going to lose an arm. He cut off a lot of arms, a lot of heads, a lot of knees. It don't matter, bro. He will take your meniscus and cut something with it, all right? And look, if y'all enjoy my reaction, bro, y'all enjoy my channel, bro, y'all happy to be here with me in the new year, hit your boy with the goodness. This has been your boy, Reggie Wolf. I'm signing out. Peace.